Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of <clears throat> Nothing But The Facts podcast. As always, <clears throat> my name is Cameron Washington and today I just want to do a quick recap of last night's Monday Night Raw. And guys, I've got to tell you, WWE is really starting to get back to that edgier TV. I love it. Like last night, The Rock beat the beat the snot out of Cody Rhodes and made him bleed. And wrestlers don't bleed that often anymore. I love it. I cannot wait until the PG, or excuse me, until the uh, Netflix deal is done. Like, it's it's going to be so interesting to, to know what rating they're going to fall under when they get to Netflix. So, I just, I just wanted to recap that last night. It was, that was well done. Like, loved it. Loved the brutality. That's, that's what makes wrestling wrestling. Um, but on to today's main topic. I want to spend some time talking about uh, LGBT and why people need to let their dislike for that go. Okay. Number one, it's okay if you disagree with people. It's okay if you disagree with LGBT, okay? Perfectly fine. But do not say it's sin. Do not say it's wrong because it is not. If you can be straight and live with a group of guys... Why can't you be gay and like guys? Like, I, I, I'm, I'm being completely serious here. That is not okay. That is not cool. Okay? And as most of you know, if you follow my uh, Bible study or if you've heard my history, um, I am unisex. I was born unisex, meaning that I was born both genders. So... Guys, that technically puts me under the LGBT umbrella. So guys, don't don't do that. Don't make don't make fun of people like that. Don't sit there and say that LGBT is wrong because it is not. It is not. And you wonder why the LGBT community is getting more backbone. It's because they're tired of the way they're being treated. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I would be too. You know, I, I definitely would be too. But you know the difference with the LGBT community? They don't need to get violent to prove their point. Like back in 2020, when everybody just thought during a pandemic, during the worst of the pandemic, People just thought they could hurt other people and burn their houses down, burn businesses down, burn houses with children in them. Look it up on YouTube. You'll see it. Protesters blocking uh, firefighters from entering to save a child. It's on there. That's the difference. The LGBT community, they don't need to get violent to prove their point. And you notice how it's legal now for the same-sex couple to get married? It's because we fight for our rights. We fight for our rights. And honestly, dating the same sex, what is it hurting? I, I, I'm asking. I, I, I want an honest answer. Why? What? What is it hurting? You know, so honestly, need to stay need to stay away from criticizing or judging the LGBT 
it, it's just not, it's, it's not right at all. God loves all people. And to carry the Bible that literal, it's not okay whatsoever. And with books that have been written saying how LGBT has destroyed what God has made, things like that, that's not okay. That is not okay. Period. You need to accept people for who they are. You need to love people for who they are. And you want to talk about how racism is a big, a big issue today. Well, you know, two big issues, racism and discrimination against the LGBT community. Those two things, neither one of them are okay. Like I said, the violence solves nothing. Burning houses solves nothing. All right? Burning businesses solve nothing. You need to come together as a unit, a unit, to fix these issues in our community, to fix the racism in our community. And there are other ways that we can get rid of crooked cops without having to defund all the police around the country. Work to come to a compromise. Stronger interview skills, stronger whatever. Stronger lie detector tests when they go in to get interviewed. Whatever it is, take higher measures. Don't just defund police officers who legit are trying to save your life. Just, it's, it's not worth it, guys. Not worth it whatsoever. And I just think that we all have, we're all uniquely special in our own way. We're all different. That hurts nothing. Nobody's getting hurt by somebody being different. Nobody's suffering from it. So I'm begging you guys, Please, please, stop the hate with the LGBT community. Start accepting people and respecting people's views. You don't have to agree with it. You don't have to like it. But unless you have a better plan or unless you're a matchmaker, keep your nose out of other people's business and do not call out people for no reason. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is this week's mini podcast. And I look forward to seeing you guys in two weeks. Have a great one.